What's going on, my Cardano friends? And if you read the title, yes, I'm a bear now. Just kidding. I think we're still bullish, guys. But I want to let you guys know in today's video of Cardano Daily that there's a good chance that we see a major price correction slash crash slash shakeout. And you should be aware of this. It's not a bad thing. It's actually a very good thing for the long-term inevitable price points that we've been looking at all the past months of like $10 ADA. There's no way we're going to $10 ADA from $1 all the way to 10, right? There's got to be some dips there to shake out people and to also allow for more influxes of FOMO once we do get up to those major peaks. People are going to be broke down on their knees and down on their luck so i want to make this video outlining some things to be aware of in the coming weeks and the coming months especially approaching smart contracts for cardano um, but i do believe that bitcoin is going to lead the markets here and bitcoin is going to have a pretty nasty crash a pretty brutal shakeout for a lot of people so i thought we'd outline that in today's episode now let's get right into it right first things first if you're holding through this crash and you want to stake your ADA to earn more ADA while you hold, definitely do so with the Jack stake pool. But let's look at the crypto charts because there's a lot going on right now. And what I think is going to happen based off of some other people's opinions. So these are not solely my own beliefs and my own, you know, logic. But I believe that Il Capo, Crypto Capo on Twitter has something going here. I think he's right. 51k essentially then 38,000 for Bitcoin. Now we're almost at that 51k. We've almost hit there and I think one last pump to it and then we could see a major crash for Bitcoin and in turn would be a major crash for the rest of the crypto markets. That usually is just how it goes. Now I think there's actually still a lot of time for some of the altcoins to pump before this crash but eventually they're going to see the pain that is Bitcoin tracing back down to $38,000. And where are me and you Cardano holders sitting in all of this? Well, I think we're going to sit somewhere below $2 if Bitcoin goes down to 38 k Maybe not quite that low, but definitely lower than where we're standing today. So if you were ever going to take profits, now would be when I would do it. But at the same time, you need to, you need to figure that out for yourself, my friend. I can't tell you when to take profits. Am I taking profits? No, I'm just holding. But there's no way essentially right now that you're down on your money. Uh, we're at 268. There's a very, 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 very little chance you're down on your Cardano money. So you're probably in profit. Therefore, taking profits when you're in profit is a sure thing. But also, there's a lot of potential for us to dip here and then go back up towards that $10 mark by the end of the year. Now, is it going to be an easy journey? No. And is this shakeout going to be pretty brutal? For a lot of people, yes. But for people who see it coming and for people who are just holding because we know the path might be a little shaky and they might try to get it rid of us, but um, we're going up. The price is going up. The value is going up. And a lot of people are going to be shooken out by these major crashes. And I'm putting this video out there to tell you, don't sell your cryptocurrencies to these other people. Don't sell it, my friends. Um, I'm, I'm just a guy in my mom's basement, but I'm not selling my cryptocurrencies. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just preaching what I'm practicing. And um, yeah, you guys got to figure out yourself, though, if it's time to sell for you. Uh, you're in profit. Should I sell? Maybe I shall 50%, 30%. Come up with a plan on what price points you're going to sell certain percentages of your crypto bags and then you can be much more easygoing with the prices as we hit new targets now let's keep looking on what to do during this crash that might be coming because realistically we cannot just go up right you know taking profits at resistance is never a bad strategy and i'm not a trader i'm just a buy and holder and that's fine honestly like i'm not trying to be a trader i'm not trying to tell you guys i'm a trader because what i'm doing is investing really i'm not trading and i have no disregards or disrespects for traders but that's just not what i'm doing but it's still very useful to know when you're holding when those dips are coming and you can be much less bothered by them when they do come if you see them coming now if you don't look at the price charts whatsoever you're probably not even going to be bothered but 
Cardano is still sitting well above its previous all-time high back in May. And against Bitcoin, we might not even see as much of a dip on Cardano when we see that 38k Bitcoin because of how much resistance we've been pushing up towards it towards against bitcoin with cardano this is the ada btc chart and we peaked above 5800 satoshis and that's pretty crazy uh, you know back in may when we saw that 250 all-time high we were at you know well we were 4900 satoshis and we've done a lot better than that now we're coming back down but the price against bitcoin for cardano has been rising and there's going to be less cause and effect when bitcoin crashes and cardano price follows it's not going to be as bad as it was in may now where's cardano sitting now you know 267 you can see as i mentioned we're well above these all-time highs back in may and i think we are going to see ourselves come back down here you know in the 180 to 220 range i think that's completely viable for the crash against bitcoin and that would be a great time to pick up some Cardano, in my opinion, that is not financial advice, guys. You need to do your own research. And if you're going off of my conviction, please do not buy or sell. You need to go off of your own conviction. That is, that's all I got to say, guys. But to be honest, this is what I see happening. This is what I see the future holding. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know for sure that this is going to happen. And you guys need to know that. I am just speculating. This is all speculation. It's just a guess, uh, maybe a well-educated guess at best, but I don't actually know. No one actually knows, and you need to be careful, okay? You need to be careful and be responsible. So I'm putting that out there. I don't want you guys to get hurt, and you need to just take everything into consideration. Don't just dump your life savings in because I said we're going down and then back up to the moon, right? Don't do that. Please make responsible decisions. But me, I believe long term in cryptocurrencies, I'm investing and Cardano, even though I believe we're going to see a dip here, has so much potential to go back up past $5 and well on in the next four or five months, especially with smart contracts coming out and all of the crypto market is going to be booming. And yeah, that's what I got to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you find it helpful and I hope you guys are doing okay. It's going to get bloody in my opinion but we're going to be good. Just huddle and yeah, have a great day, my friends. It's been your friend, Jack. Don't forget to stake your ADA with Jack pool. Peace out.